Hello. Uh, I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of an update. <laughs> um, this past weekend, which is... Uh, today's date is actually February 12th. So, I mean, if you're watching this, I mean, do stay tuned. I mean, I I'm more or less going to explain the next couple videos. Um, okay. <clears throat> I decided to take a road trip this weekend. Um, decided to take a trip down to Virginia and D.C. It was something I've wanted to do for a while. I mean, nothing bad. It's more or less... I just wanted to get out of the house and clear my head, do a little bit of thinking, and act like a tourist for once in my life. Yeah, something I really haven't done. But, what I'm going to do is, <clears throat> I'm going to explain to you, well not really explain, but... Uh, the video before, or the two videos before this is going to be a 870 takedown, and it's a tactical model. Yeah. But, uh, I figured I'd do a little bit of talking. Well, on February 10th, you know, I was helping on getting the fuck out of state. Or at least getting the hell out of town. I didn't really... I, I rented a car and just drove. And, yeah, I've always been saying to myself, I wanted to go down to Virginia and go down to D.C. And, you know, like I said, act like a tourist. So, on the 11th, I left Dodge. No, not Dodge per se. That's just the phrase. Uh, left town, and uh, yeah, I didn't go down for anything illegal. Uh, yeah, like I said, it was more or less just to clear my head. But <clears throat> like I said, if you're watching this, I'm going to explain. Um, I ended up catching a room in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Yeah, yeah, definitely a nice little small town. Not big, but quiet. Yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted. I mean, I, I didn't need something in like a big city where, you know, it was all hustle and bustle. I, I, I just wanted to get out into the woods. Or at least step away from city life for a while. Uh, well... Driving down one of the roads by Fredericksburg, uh, yeah, something I wasn't really used to. Um, oh, I turned on this one road and all I saw was trees. Then open fields. Had a cop, couple cars behind me. Then after he turned off, I decided to kick on the video camera. And that's where the first video is going to be. Just It's just going to be a five-minute video of just driving down a road. Uh, yeah. It was about 4.30, 5 o'clock at night, or in the afternoon, you know, whatever you want to call it. But... That's the first video. Uh, it's basically it, it was basically like a one or two light road. I didn't even know the speed limit was 55 until uh, I got about three miles down. That's when I first saw the sign. I was wondering why I had a line of cars behind me. Yeah, I was playing that out of towner. Yeah, I really was. Um, but then. I remember that 
if you've ever watched that show Moonshiners, you would know that there is certain moonshines that's legal for sale. And, uh, yeah. I wanted it. I wanted a fucking bottle of moonshine. So, yeah, I bought two bottles. One as a gift, and then one for myself. And for those who know me, I, I really don't drink. I mean, I'll maybe have a beer a month or something like that. You know, I've got a case of Oktoberfest downstairs that I haven't even opened. Yeah, Sam Adams Oktoberfest. Uh. But if you actually talk to the distributors, they'll actually tell you it's actually good to drink year-round. It's like one of those beers that, you know, you can <clears throat> drink in the height of summer and it still tastes just as good. <coughs> okay. Well, for those of you who are used to, like, city living like I am, uh, where you can walk into any liquor store and find whatever the hell you want, uh, unfortunately, up here, that's the way it is. Down there, it's a little bit different. Um, down there, you could buy beer at almost any gas station. Any gas station, Walmart, you name it. Um, but to buy wine, you have to go to one store. And to buy booze, like harder shit, uh, you actually have to go to a third store. You know? But here's the kicker. You could buy beer at the wine store, but you can't buy booze at the wine store. But if you, you if you go into the booze store, you can't buy beer or wine. Oh. Um, the place that I actually had to find it was at a Virginia ABC store. First time I ever heard of that. But then again, like I said, I'm used to living up north where everything's, like, convenient. But, okay. So, <clears throat> that's exactly what I did. I found me a bottle of moonshine. And for those of you who have never seen it, there you go. Legal moonshine. Am I going to drink it? No. It's just regular 80 proof. You know, 40% alcohol. Yeah. Uh, this is actually Junior Johnson's. I mean, they had other ones, but... Uh, yeah. I, <clears throat> I just, like I said, I just wanted something to uh, keep around the house as a conversation piece. Now, on another note... The video after that is going to be a video of the changing of the guards at Arlington National Cemetery at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Uh, you know, <clears throat> and that was one of the places I've been wanting to go for the past couple of years. And, uh, you know, I am grateful I actually did see it. You know, it, it was actually pretty cool to watch. But in that video, I'm not going to say a word. And in the video after that, I'm not going to say a word. Um, and with the, tomb, with the changing of the guards, it's going to be very clear. So I do recommend you actually listening. Uh, and I'll... Uh, Put the information about what is done in the description. But then in the next video after that, I am going to be walking by the Vietnam Veterans Memorial in D.C. Now, for those of you who don't know where it is or... Yeah... Um, if you know where D.C. is, everybody knows where the Washington Monument is, or the Lincoln Memorial, or something like that. But, and some of the biggest, the biggest pictures were the reflecting pool, and yeah. Well, 
the Vietnam Veterans Memorial, if you're right in front of the Lincoln Memorial, you have the Korean War Monument to your right, you have the reflecting pool in front of you, you have uh, the Washington Monument directly in front of you, and then you also have... Yeah, sorry. And then to the left, you actually have the Wash or uh, the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. And like I said, I didn't talk during it. Uh, I just more or less wanted just to show the monument for what it is. And you know, my father is a Vietnam vet, and you know. Almost any other time I ever went to D.C., it was always when I was really young. I mean, I didn't really have any interest in it or... I mean, I had interest in it, but I didn't at the same time. But you're going to see me walking the path along the mall or uh, the wall. And, you know, I'm going to point out, if, I'm going to show a few details. And then you're going to see me walking the path. To the next monument and you know I, it, it was definitely something well worth it you know but then after that monument I'm gonna come up to like the little plaque that sits in front of it and I'm just gonna pause it during the video and you can actually read what the uh, placard actually says and then I'm gonna walk along the same path and come up to the third monument with the three soldiers uh, yeah. yeah it's yeah it was well worth the trip yeah. I was able to do a lot of thinking and yeah, I didn't really screw around down there. I, I wasn't in no hurry to go there. I wasn't in no hurry to get back. So, you know, I wasn't doing my normal speeds. But there was a patch stand right in front of the Lincoln Memorial. Uh, and, you know, yeah, I have a vest. And that's exactly what these are going to be going on. Uh, I actually picked up a couple for my father, and yeah. Well, the first one I'm going to show you I've actually had around my house for a little while. And I've just really had nothing to put it on. But, you know, uh, I've been screwing around with one vest, so I figure I'm going to put it on that as well as the next patches. Oh. Let me zoom in. Now this patch is actually pretty cool. I mean, it's about five, five inches circular. Uh, the nation which forgets its defenders will in itself be forgotten. Fallen heroes. And in the memory of our troops, defenders of our freedom. It's got all five of the all five of uh the branches of service like coast guard marines you know this one a lot of people always know yeah that's the marine one it's i mean like i said it's also got the eagle on it with the uh american flag in the background like very light and you know that's actually what I found is actually pretty cool about it oh. <clears throat> next patches I mean I'm not gonna show the ones that I got from my father but <clears throat> fear the Reaper yeah the <gasps> I've always just liked this you know been a fan of heavy metal for a while, and yeah, yeah. The Grim Reaper always stands out with it. Ace of Spades. 
This was normally uh, the marker of death. You know. It just says it all right there. You know. Then, of course, the American flag. You know. I am proud of uh, where I'm from. And then... The best Dirty Harry line. Go ahead, make my day. And like I said, I'm going to put these all on a vest. And uh, I'll actually show you a little bit of progress. Yeah. I've worn it a couple times. But, uh, yeah. Figured uh, I'll show you a little bit. Now, the front side is very plain freedom isn't free with the USA logo on, logo on front but the back is what really catches people's attention yep you have your second amendment patch uh, the eagle Zombie Eradication and Disposal Unit. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. These colors don't run. Loud pipes save lives. And trust me, I'm a fan of loud pot pipes. I always do love them. Ride free. Uh, for when the zombies come, Second Amendment, SKS. This was actually a pretty cool patch. I found it on eBay. And same thing with the Certified Zombie Hunter. Yes! I'm a fan of the zombies. I mean, who isn't? But the setup I was thinking about doing was I was going to put put that one right about there. Put that right there. Put that right there. <coughs> put that one. And then this one was actually going to put up front. But, yeah, it's uh, definitely coming along. Something I definitely wear. Oh, wait, I already do. What the hell am I talking about? But, anyways. I'm, uh, gonna get going. I'm gonna start up on these uploads. And, yeah. Yeah, uh really don't know what else to say you know so but and the videos after that you're gonna see a uh, Smith & Wesson or uh, Enfield mark one number three or number one mark three yeah uh, like I said it's freaking late as hell out I've been up since seven in the morning my brain is not working at the moment Give me a break, man. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but <clears throat> what I'm going to do is the videos after the video after the Arlington or uh, the Vietnam Veterans Memorial is going to be a Enfield Number One Mark Three takedown rebuild. Well, almost. After that. There is going to be one of, the hell is it, uh, Smith & Wesson 27-2 revolver. Uh, I'm going to completely strip that down. Well, mine is taken off the barrel. And then after that, there's going to be a Colt Trooper. And I'm going to actually have to re-record it. Only for the reason why I had to do a little bit of repair work, or I had to get a part. So, anyways, uh, I'm going to get off, and, you know, we'll go from there. So, but you know what? The one thing I'm glad about is now that I am home, back in Connecticut, this can be back on my side. Hmm. 
I missed you. I almost felt naked without you. I really did. So, up until the next time, you know, I'm going to leave you with one parting word. Don't be walking into anybody's house. Because you know what? You never know what will be looking at you. Have a nice day.